All right, guys, I'm back at it again with another video. I'm just pumping these out lately, but figured I'd get them out of the way because I have nothing else to do today. Today we're going to be looking at my late 2013 15-inch MacBook Pro again. I haven't had this machine in about a year and a half. I uh, originally purchased it, or I was originally able to get it back in uh, April of 2014. <laughs> I remember I actually bought, got this machine on April 1st, 2014, and everybody thought it was a joke because it was April 1st. And so everybody thought it was an April Fool's joke, but nope, I actually got it back then, and this was my first foray into like Macs that actually had some power behind them. Previously, before I got this, I had a custom-built PC, you know, running Windows, and that's what I was mainly using, and I also had a 13-inch uh, 2009 MacBook Pro looking kind of like this one, but yeah. In other words, I was using that as my laptop, and I was still on Windows as a main, and I really wanted one of these, and so... My mom came through for me, and uh, if some of you are unaware, my mom is no longer with us, but yeah, that's beside the point. I'm going to try to keep the video rolling here. So yeah, my mother is no longer with us, and uh, unfortunately, that is kind of why this has so much sentimental value to me now, because it was a gift from her, and I just, I'm not going to get rid of it now. But anyway, uh, in January of 2017, I decided to upgrade to a mid-2015 15-inch MacBook Pro, which was just a small spec bump from this, and the main reason I did that was because I wanted the 16 gigs of RAM in that machine, and so I decided to get that, and this one went to my friend Chris. He's had it for the past year and a half, and recently I purchased a new 2017 MacBook Pro, and I Pretty much, I just basically told him, hey, I'll give you my mid-2015 in exchange for this one back, just because of, you know, the sentimental value, despite it being a slightly worse machine. So, I decided to do that, and here it is. So, now I'm planning on keeping this. I'm not really going to get rid of it, just, again, because of the sentimental value. Uh, this computer has had quite a few like skins and stuff on it. I originally had a Rainbow Apple logo on it, which some of you may or may not remember. And then I had a Blue Carbon Fiber D-Brand skin on it, which... I have have now on my 2017, and I also had one on the 2015, but now it's just bare bones, um, so decided to just keep it simple, at least for now. I may purchase another skin for it at some, per some point just to give it a little bit of color, but other than that, it's still in pretty good shape. Uh, there are like a couple of little like scratches and things like here and, you know, there, but other than that, it's not, not in bad shape for all things considered. I remember one day... I this uh I had a pretty crappy laptop bag at the time and I accidentally dropped said bag with this laptop in it and it kind of hit it on the corner I think it was this side and uh it kinked the hinge out of position and so pretty much I had to open up the machine and fix that I was able to fix it so I mean obviously it's good again but yeah that happened a few years ago and then Another point after that, I tried to take it apart, I believe I was repasting it, and I actually stripped a screw in it, so you can see right there that I had to drill the screw out, and so there's not a screw holding that in anymore, and there hasn't been since. <laughs> so, another time, another little damage story I g gave it was this little dimple right here, which some of you may recognize because it's been there for quite a while. I accidentally threw something at my desk and it accidentally hit the MacBook and that's what happened. So yeah, the keyboard is kind of shiny now. It never was, but that's because Chris used it for a year and a half. This thing mainly sat on a desk with my use. Of course, no force touch trackpad on this model. It's still the regular glass one. Still one of the best trackpads in the business, but yeah, it's not, it's not force touch anymore. So here it is. I went ahead and cleaned it up before making this video. Just gave it a wipe down and stuff. And so I'm gonna go ahead and boot it up. Uh, by the way, this one is the base model. It has the uh, i7-4750HQ, which is running at two gigahertz. And it has eight gigabytes of RAM with the Intel Iris Pro. I believe it's the 5100, but I could be wrong. And uh, yeah, a 256 gig SSD, that kind of stuff. It's not, it's nothing too, too high end. Is this running in 1280 by 800? It looks, or not 1280, uh, 1600 by 9. Let's look. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's better. Alrighty. So. Well. Okay. So. <laughs> Now that all of my personal information is splattered across the screen, let's go ahead and close that for now. 
there you go. Got my signature wallpaper on it, of course, just, you know, to make it appropriate. And, uh, yeah, I believe this one is also running the newest version of, yeah, it's running High Sierra. Of course, these ship with 10.9, and this was the last machine to ship with 10.9, I believe. And so, yeah, well, actually, no. I think the uh, the 2014, the early, like, early to mid-2014 models also ship with uh, 10.9. But anyhow, let me go ahead and zoom up on that, see if we can take a look. So we're running a 2 gigahertz i7 and all the other specs that I told you. So, yeah, there you go. This thing is still, I mean, decently powerful. I mean, it's not great anymore being four years old, or I guess the hardware is five years old. The laptop itself is about four, though. Anyhow, yeah, it's it's still working. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with it. This is still plenty powerful for daily use. I used to video edit a lot on this and stuff, so, but I don't do too much of that anymore. Well, at least not on this machine. I do a ton of it on my new one, so... Yeah, I don't really use this thing much anymore, but decided to just go ahead and give you guys a little update on it. It's still running just fine. We can take a look at the coconut battery. Uh, let's not do that right now. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Again, this thing has uh, pretty low cycles. It has 155, and most of those were added by Chris. I believe when I gave it to him, it had less than 100, or probably close to 100, somewhere around there. As you can see, the manufacturing date of the computer was April tw or, uh, February 24th, 2014, and I bought it on April 1st, and so, yeah. Anyhow, that's the coconut battery. Still holding up pretty good. Nothing I can really complain about. And, uh, yeah, so that's probably going to wrap it up for me. Don't really have much more to say, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this guy down. So again, I don't really have too much of a use for this computer, but I'm not going to sell it because, again, the sentimental value that it has. So it's probably just going to sit here with all the other ones. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.